I'm excited to be teaching a six-hour workshop called Heal and Soul on September 28th. And in this workshop, we're going to be able to show you how to understand and how to work with all of the muscles of the feet, which will add an enormous benefit and skill to your level of work that you're doing. Now we're going to work into looking at the anatomy, the lecture on anatomy. Then we're going to do palpation so you get a feel for all of these muscles in your hands. And then we're going to do techniques and do an extensive exchange, which not only will uh, help you memorize and feel confident with these techniques, but also honestly will be a wonderful experience because everybody loves foot massage. It's really, really powerful. So by the end of this workshop, you'll have the confidence, the skill, the knowledge, perhaps for the very first time, to work with the foot in the completeness that they deserve because they underlie every single thing we do. Now let me show you some palpation of these muscles that'll add so much to your work. First of all, we want to get to know abductor digiti minimi, which is the thickest muscle on the bottom of the foot here. You can almost petrissage it. And then we want to work palpating with cross fiber and circular friction through flexor digitorum brevis. Begins on the front of the calcaneus and goes to the toes. And then here you have abductor halicus. And this is often when your foot has a cramp. It's commonly that muscle that it has the cramp in. That goes right here. And then we can go into the muscle called quadratus planti, like quadratus lumborum in the back. It's four-sided. And that goes right into the tendon of flexor digitorum longus. And off of those tendons come the lumbricals that go to the toes and help with flexion. And then deep to that, you have flexor digiti minimi, you have flexor halicus brevis, and you have a neat muscle called the adductor halicus that has two heads that actually is uh, in primates, other primates is what's used for grasping with the feet in the case of monkeys and so on. So a vestigial muscle called the adductor halicus that really can have remarkable effects on the arches. And then there's a tendon for Peroneus longus that is the deepest tendon in the foot, interestingly enough. So by the time you've addressed all those layers, slowing down and pressing in where you find tension or where the person reports pain or tenderness, you're going to be able to separate those layers, relax the tension in the muscles, and separate the three major layers in the foot from each other. The person will get up, they'll feel like they've had a quarter inch cushion that's now on the bottom of their foot that makes every step more comfortable and affects the entire body and how movement happens, how posture happens, how their overall tension level goes down. We know that whether you believe in reflexology or not, that the foot underlies everything we do, everything we are, and so it's an entryway to affecting the whole person in dramatic fashion, especially when you really understand its anatomy.